Despite the fact that so much of our media is consumed digitally or online these days, there's still a case to be made for owning physical media. Now, the key reason seems to be that digital licenses can expire or might in the future, leaving you holding the bag if the only way you own your favorite movie, for example, is as a digital file. Now, owning the 4K Blu-ray disc, for example, is one way that you can guarantee you're always going to have access to that content. And having a 4K Blu-ray player like these from LG is going to let you play those physical discs and, with these ones, you can also access streaming content online. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I recently received these two LG Blu-ray players to test and review here in my home for a couple of weeks. I've got the LG UBK80 and the LG UBK90. While the machines are similar, there are some differences, which we'll get to. Both players are ultra thin. They've got ultra HD or 4K resolution, plus HDR for better color and light replication. They're backward compatible, so you can watch standard Blu-ray discs and DVDs on this player, along with new ones. You'll also get a remote control, and you can connect to the internet and stream content with online video services like Netflix and YouTube. The UBK80 and 90 are in essence the same machine. The 90 though adds functionality for next generation Dolby Vision HDR. To use this feature, you will need an HDR or Dolby Vision compatible setup. I didn't have that, so this aspect of the player wasn't tested. There's not really a whole lot to say about how these players operate. They're simple and straightforward and work exactly as you should. The buttons are pretty standard. You press play, it plays. You press pause, it pauses. When it comes to the picture quality, this is dependent to a large extent on the TV you use. If you have a good quality 4K TV, you'll get great video, and if you have less than stellar TV, it might leave something to be desired. This brings up another important point, that in order to get true 4K resolution, you need to make sure your 4K Blu-ray player is connected to a 4K TV and you're watching content that's been made in 4K. Remove one of those pieces of the puzzle and you'll lose quality. But overall, I have no complaints about the video quality of these Blu-ray players. To get the streaming feature set up, you'll go to the menu and grant the Blu-ray player Wi-Fi access. This takes just a minute, and once that's done, you can find access to Netflix and YouTube under the Premium tab on the player's main menu screen. If you want to use Netflix, you'll need to sign into your Netflix account. There's no surprise there. For YouTube, you can access YouTube videos without having to sign in, which is kind of convenient. If I have a complaint about the streaming capabilities of these devices, it's that there's not a whole lot of choice. YouTube and Netflix are basically all that you're going to get. Though there is that music tab, there's no streaming music, so don't misunderstand what you're getting here. You'll need to connect a USB device with music on it in order to listen. It's kind of a waste of time and effort, in my opinion, since there's so so many better streaming options available. In my opinion, it would have been nice to include Spotify or Google Play Music connectivity on these Blu-ray players. Overall, I found these LG Blu-ray players to be pretty easy to use, and I appreciated their slim design that allows them to slide underneath some TVs. I like the fact that there's YouTube and Netflix streaming, though I was a bit disappointed there weren't more streaming channels made available, um, including Spotify. But overall, if you're looking for a solid Blu-ray player with 4K resolution for your home theater, these two are going to be a great choice. If you want to read more, there's a full blog online at blog.bestbuy.ca. You can head over there and check it out, post any questions you have, either on the blog or, of course, here on the YouTube channel as well. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Catch me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at Erin L Y Y C.